Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Be our light and scatter the darkness, and hear our evening prayer and praise. Psalm 98 Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known. He has revealed his righteousness to the eyes of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in joyful song. Make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and everything that fills it, the world and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with fairness. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Numbers chapter 27. The Lord said to Moses, Go up onto this mountain in the Abarim range and see the land which I have given to the Israelites. After you have seen it, you yourself will also be gathered to your people, just as Aaron your brother was gathered. For when the community quarreled in the wilderness of Zin, you both rebelled against my command to honor me as holy in their sight at the waters. This refers to the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord. May the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the community who will go out before them and come in before them, who will lead them out and bring them in, so that the community of the Lord will not be like sheep without a shepherd. The Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and place your hand on him. Have him stand in front of Eliezer the priest and the entire community. You will commission him in their sight. You will give some of your authority to him, so that the entire Israelite community will listen to him. He will stand before Eliezer the priest, who will inquire for him before the Lord with the decision of the Urim. He and all the Israelites with him, the entire community, will go out at his command and come in at his command. Moses did just as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and had him stand in front of Eliezer the priest and the entire community. He placed his hands on him and commissioned him, just as the Lord spoke through Moses. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Gospel of Luke Chapter 23 As they led him away, they seized Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country. They placed the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people was following him, including women who were mourning and wailing for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, stop weeping for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Be sure of this, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the childless women, the wombs that never gave birth, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things to the green wood, what will happen to the dry? Two other men who were criminals were led away with Jesus to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there with the criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. They cast lots to divide his garments among them. 
The people stood watching. The rulers were ridiculing him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if this is the Christ of God, the Chosen One. The soldiers also made fun of him. Coming up to him, they offered him sour wine, saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription written above him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals hanging there was blaspheming him, saying, Aren't you the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him, Don't you fear God, since you are under the same condemnation? We are punished justly, for we are receiving what we deserve for what we have done. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Jesus said to him, Amen, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour while the sun was darkened. Then the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had happened, he began to glorify God, saying, This man really was righteous. When all the groups of people who had gathered to see this spectacle saw what had happened, they returned home beating their chests. All those who knew Jesus and the women who followed him from Galilee stood at a distance watching these things. Now there was a man named Joseph from the Jewish town of Arimathea, who was a member of the council, a good and righteous man. He had not agreed with their plan and action. He was looking forward to the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. He took it down, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and placed it in a tomb that was cut out of rock, where no one had yet been laid. It was preparation day, and the Sabbath was beginning. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed after Joseph, and they observed the tomb and how his body was laid there. Then they returned and prepared spices and perfumes. On the Sabbath they rested, according to the commandment. The Word of the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Amen. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works come from you. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments. Defend us also from the fear of our enemies, that we may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.